back in the days when I used to, you know, be an arrogant, cocky guy, you know, I was gaining kind of like confidence also and kind of experience of like, you know, what it feels like to really get kicked and really get a hit. So, you know, that's part of training also. You have to train in realistic situation also. But the best way to train like that is to, you know, get a couple of people that you trust to train with and you work together. You just don't go out there and find people and just borrow them like that because that's very dangerous. Get a couple of people that you know and trust that won't, like, hurt you. Or you are, you know, if you know if you hit them hard, they won't get pissed off and, you know, they will, they will have the understanding that you're just training these techniques. And make sure, when back in the days, <laughs> I never used to wear any padding because that's how I used to train, I never wear padding. I mean, I would wear a cup sometimes, but I wouldn't wear any hand gears or foot gears or nothing like that. But because I believe that in real life situation, you know, you don't have no patterns, and if you keep training that way, you gonna become like, like, you know, soft. Like, you know, when you really do fight, you know, you punch. You know, you're probably gonna break your hand because you you punch too much with gloves on and shin pads and stuff. So when you do have to really do something, you're not gonna know, you know, the, the feeling, you know. But I guess for like beginners and stuff like that, you know, you can wear padding, you know, if you wanna, for safe reasons, you know, because sometimes you can get injured in training also. But I don't train with, with, with much gears on. I might probably sometimes put on a boxing glove, you know, but most of the times I just do everything bare knuckles barefoot and everything so you know having the experience is also good you know take it in a hit see what a hit feel like because you don't know what a hit feel like and <laughs> and you do get attacked you get your first hit and you don't know what it feels like you don't know how to react to it it's completely different you know you might get one hit and get knocked out but if you train and you know, you do get hit on a consistent, not all the time, but consistent basis. You get like a kick to the face or a punch to the face, hitting the solar plexus, hitting the rib, you know, kick to the leg, you know, you fall in your back and you hit your head or something like that. Then and you get used to what it feels like to get hit. So when you do get hit, your, your brain knows how to process it. You get hit to the face, you're like, oh, no, that's just a hit to the face. You know. I, I got it already. You get kicked to the head. You're like, oh, okay, I really felt. I know what I feel like. You know, it's not a, not a, it's not a, it's not a surprise. You're not just gonna ball up and like, oh God, I got hit. Uh, what I'm gonna do? Uh, you know, you just know what it feels like. So I've gotten hit a couple of times. So and as well as I do the hitting also, but I got hit a couple of times. You know, I got you know thrown to the ground. You know, hit in the face, hit in the head hitting the stomach, hitting the rib. I got kicked everywhere, you know, so I'm doing it for a long time, so. And a lot of fighting that I used to do was no gears, so it was the worst. So you feel, you know, bone and bone and flesh and flesh. There was no pads around it, you know. And the other competitions that I used to do, like in tournament fighting, you know, there was all pads, but you still get, you still feel it, you know, you get hit. You know, so it's good to have these experience in what it feels like to get a hit, you know. So, you know, when you spar, you spar safe, you know, make sure you practice safely, you know. You can wear headgears, you know. Recommended, you know, I would say, you know, when you start, you know, wear headgears, you know, wear shin pads and gloves. But the way how I would train, I never used to wear those stuff, you know, because I trained for set for realistic and when you're real life training and you hit the, sh the street and you have to s defend yourself, you know the gloves can sometimes make your make your hands soft. You know, so yeah, you're out there and you know you punch, but you you, feel, you think you're wearing gloves on, and when you hit the guy, it's like oh man, the impact of it just break your hand. You know, you're not used to punching the, the back bare knuckle, or you're not used to training without any gears. So when you do punch the person, you're hitting body to body, 
but then you know you you know you, you know what it feels like so you know how the process to hit you know as I said there's control in your training also when you're sparring there's like control aspect of it you know so when you're training you don't try to kill your per you don't try to kill your um, teammate or, or kill the person you're sparring with you know you want to show some love too you know like if you see your opening there and you know that you know he that he's not going to react to it just quick enough you know when you do land the technique you don't land it to knock him out or to do damage as part of martial arts too the control aspect of it you know you can finish the guy but you don't finish him you know you just you see it not really say for your holding back but you know you can destroy him but you just like you know you put the technique in there and you just say ah you need to put your hand up on that one you know, if you're wearing the gears now, then you can like, you know, you can, you can land, you can connect. You know, you can connect like, like, I wouldn't say you never, you never, when you're, when you're training, you never go 100% when, when you're sparring. You know, you never try to go 100% because that's like killing your, that's killing your teammate. You know, you want to go like, you know, like 50, you know, 60, so forth.